Canadians hoping to hop on a flight to warm sandy beaches this winter are being turned away from four of Canada's major airlines, Air Canada, WestJet, Sunwing and Air Transat. They have suspended service to Mexico and the Caribbean at the urging of the federal government. Some passengers already abroad and others who had a trip planned are scrambling to get answers. Manisa Danabalan has the story. So I came down here to Cancun. Matthew Babbitt traveled to Cancun a couple of months ago as a getaway, but now he's stranded. I'm beyond frustrated with my, 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 uh, the government of Canada. He was scheduled to return in two weeks, but with the new restrictions, the last flight with his airline left today. I think that what they should have done is they should have said, look, you have seven days. That gives us enough time to get a test, to get a flight. But instead, he's waiting to find out how he'll come home and when. I didn't have any, like, um, actual information and when I contacted some something they didn't even know what was going on. Um, I've contacted other travelers, I've contacted um, you know people back at home and almost everything I've gotten was just complete uh, like a complete mix of uh, information. The federal government said Canadians already abroad would be brought back home but it isn't clear when and he's not the only one looking for answers. As far as I'm concerned, my flight is not canceled because it's not Air Canada, Transat, WestJet. Roxanne Bevan booked a flight to Panama months ago as an essential trip to handle some paperwork for a property she bought a couple of years ago. In Panama, the documents need to be signed um, as well as fingerprinted, uh, as well as they want to take pictures, photocopies of my passport. They're due by March. Um, and so if I don't finish this document, I have to restart the process all over again, which could potentially cost me thousands more in lawyer's fees. Her flight leaves tomorrow and she says she can't afford the quarantine fees returning travelers have to pay. So she reached out to the airline, local MPs and the COVID information line to get answers. I've been given no information on what it's going to cost me because, and I also have to bring my child. Um, and what ha what's the repercussions if I can't pay it? Because I don't have 2000 or $4,000 just sitting in my bank account. The new restrictions aren't just impacting travelers. The Canadian aviation industry is also struggling. Canada is unique in the world in a country that uh, the country that decided that its airlines didn't need any help. I'm saying airlines, but it's the aviation sector in general. The founder of Save Canadian Aviation, a group representing Canadian aviation workers who put out this video, is calling on the federal government to help the industry. We want the government to give a sector-specific aid package to Canadian aviation. Airlines are going uh, through hardship right now, and some are probably on the verge of bankruptcy. Airports are, uh, are on the verge of bankruptcy and NAV Canada and all these sectors need a sector-specific aid. The new restrictions will be in effect until April 30. It's unclear when um, travelers arriving in Canada will have to start staying at government-approved hotels. Health Canada says that they will be providing those details in the next few days. Back to you.